just two ingredients to make your rice powder recipe. Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time coming across this channel, you are watching Lady B Kitchen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I'm super, super excited to bring to you another best way of making powder rice at home. Making powder rice at home is very, very good and it's very, very good to use it to support your baby's daily meal. After making this video, I will still show you how to use powder rice for your baby's daily meal. Making this rice powder guys, we are going to be needing just two ingredients for this recipe. Over here, I have raw rice. I have about three cup of raw rice. The same time, I have dao. I'm going to leave the English name on the screen. Next is to measure the rice and the dao. So it's very, very good to keep the measurement of the food you are cooking. So me, I only take measurement. Now I'm going to measure three cup of raw rice. Now I'm done measuring, this is what I have, so all I will do is to combine both of them together, then let's go to the next process. I'm going to be washing the rice with warm water. Here I have my cooking pot, so I will add in the water that will enable me to wash the rice. Then cover and let this to turn to boil. Now the water is ready, I'm going to turn the water inside the bowl. Because I'm going to be soaking this rice inside this water for seven before i will wash with good water it's so important guys to soak your rice before you can make use of it okay so first of all we are going to be soaking this rice before we will make use of it it's going to last for seven hours so if you don't want to check, uh, wait for the time you can as well soak it overnight that is one of the funny food i always see guys Sometimes you will just put down in your mouth, it will look as if it's a soft food. My people, it's not a soft food, okay? Cooking down, you will know that down is a strong food. So because it's not ready, that is why you are seeing it on top of the water. By the time it's ready, it will settle down. After seven hours of soaking this rice, this is we have. You can see the dough at this point, it has soaked and it's already settled with the rice. So this is what we have. All I'm going to do is to trim out the water, then add in clean water that will enable me to wash. Then I will give this a very good wash until it's able for me to use.
giving it that beautiful word this is what we have guys at this point i'm done washing the rice so i'm going to be transferring the rice inside the cooking pot over here i have my cooking pot i will transfer everything here because we are not done with this rice now it's going back to the fire so guys i'm going to be adding this water it's just a bit of water but this water is going to enable this to get cooked for 20 minutes i'm going to cover add it on top of the heat five minutes later i come to check on how it's doing so what i will do is to add in a little bit of salt in the food then stir both together and keep cooking on the rice for 20 minutes i'm going to be cooking this rice for 20 minutes before it will enable me to use so i will just stir and let this rice to cook until the water get dry minutes later this is what we have guys you can see how this is looking at this point this rice is cool i did not go far and i did not use high heat cooking this food it just cook it did not stay together it did not form any uh, ball sign at this point it just cook normally as i really want it so now i will stay together then i will take you to the next process Next process is to transfer this rice inside the oven tray. Remember we are making rice powder guys, we are going to make sure that this rice is wet, toast and dry before we can grind it. So all I will do is to add in the rice inside my oven tray, then transfer it inside the oven. Then I will be toasting this rice for 15 minutes with medium heat until the rice is dry and ready to use. It's another benefit of you adding it inside your oven. If you don't have oven, you can always use your frying pan to toast the rice until it's dry for you to grind. Okay, it's very, very good for you to make sure that it's dry before you can grind so that it will last as long as you want. Sometimes it can last for three weeks, one month above. So it depends how long your kids eat it. For me, my own doesn't even last up to two weeks before my children will just muzzle everything you understand so now i will just transfer all of it inside the oven so i'm going to be using oven to toast my rice so now the oven is set i'm just going to add it then on the oven and keep toasting it for at least 20 to 15 minutes until it's dry and ready to grind After toasting guys, this is what we have. Just take a good look at the difference before and after. So this is what we have after toasting. Now it's well dry and it's well cooked and at this point it's 100% to use. I'm transferring everything inside the bowl. The next step is just to grind this food and make use of it for your kids. It's time for me to grind. I always like to grind my rice with this bigger blender. Though I have the small blender, I always people make use of the smaller cup. But for me, I prefer using this big one inst instead of these small ones. So now I will just transfer the rice inside the bigger uh, blender, then start blending until it's blend and ready to use. Why I always like to use this bigger blender to blend my rice, I will not even bother myself by streaming it again after blending. It will just come back, come as so nice and so 
uh, smooth so that is why i always like to use the blender but each time i use the small blender to blend it will still take me to the process of me first of all screaming it before i will give it them to eat so i don't really like that so now i'm done blending everything this is what we have and it's ready to go just take a good look at that just see how smooth and like this look just look at this product sign guys so now i'm just going to transfer the last blend then combine everything together and it's ready to serve so guys just a simple way to make your baby food this is very very good for babies to eat it's very very good trust me when i say it's very very good it's just a simple food you can use to add in your baby daily meal and it's very very helpful so this is what we have after making this powder rice recipe it's just so so delicious so guys let me take you to how i prepare it for my kids first of all i will add in cold water inside the bowl so i'm using stainless plates because i'm still going to add it inside the heat then i'll just add in the one that they will eat for now then i will stir and make sure that it gets combined with the water before i will take it to the heat now it's ready now i'm just transferring it to the heat as you can see i will just keep on stirring with just medium heat you can see how it's pumping so cooking this is very very important so you don't just soak it with water and give them to eat you just have to follow this process so now that i'm done i will just season with a little bit of salt then adding milk powder i have the full video on how i make my milk powder at home if you haven't watched that video i'm going to leave it in my description box next thing i'm going to be adding is soya beans guys we have our soya beans recipe is already out and the video is coming your way soon soya beans is one of the best you can use to miss your baby food even if you don't want to add the milk you can always use soya beans to miss their food it's very very good and it's very very healthy so our soya beans powder recipe is already out i have done the video so it's just for you to view and very soon i'm going to be dropping it for us to view please guys help us to share this video see you all in my next one bye bye